Welcome back to BBS Mode. In this video, I'll walk you through how to load custom models into BBS Mode. The main way to load models into BBS Mode is through Blockbench and a couple of Blockbench plugins. Specifically, we need to install a couple of plugins. So go to File, Plugins, Available, and look for BBS Model Exporter Importer, install it, and Textures Teacher. Right, let's see. And we have both of these plugins. Once we've installed these plugins, we can import the model. So here I have a couple of models. A simple static one with no limbs and animated one with lots of animations and also with limbs denoted by groups. So first I'll start with a simple static one. So how to import this one? First you go back to Minecraft open the dashboard, which is zero key, then you press F6 to open the utility panel. Open models folder, and here is where all the models go. Create a new folder for the model, I'll call it how it's called Action Sofa. Then enter it and copy the path to the model. Then before exporting, we need to take and put all of these cubes and meshes if you have into the basically into the group. This is important because without groups it's not gonna work. So call it whatever you want. I call it anchor because it's gonna be the main limitation point. Then go file, export, export BBS model, confirm, then paste the path. I already had it because it's a second take. And export it as you can call it whatever you want but it has to be bs.json. Export now do the same thing with a with the texture. Go here and export as a soft PNG. Now if we go into morphing, we'll have the model here. So the simple model was successfully imported. So now let's import an animated model. The process is the same, you export first the model and then you export the texture. First, you have to make sure that the animation names are compliant with BBS mod. You can check that by going to BBS Mods Models page and look at the action table. So, the main ones that you need is idle and running, in my opinion. So, let's see if I have it. I have idle and there is no running. I think I used sprinting one as a running animation, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just rename this one from sprinting to running. Yeah, that should be it. Make sure that you have both of these. Now I can export the model to BBS mode. Before I do that, I need to basically create a new folder in models folder. This is a normal model, so I call it normal folder. I enter, I copy the path to the model. And then I export the model. So right here, normy.bbs.json. That's correct. Now let's also export the texture save as. And then normy. Model.png is okay for two. Now let's go back to Minecraft and we have normy. And as you can see, it's animated and it's moving. The thing regarding the head, basically you have to have a special keyframe which is basically uses these variables. Head pitch represents the vertical rotation of the head and head yaw represents horizontal. Without these variables, if you like remove them, the head won't be moving. If I go and uh, put it back and export again, the head will be turning. So yeah, that's how you import the animation. Beside that, as I said, you can change the actions over here. So for example, if you don't like it, you can like use a different animation. For example, like for running, it's all constantly dabs. But yeah, that's the essence of importing an animated model into BBS mode. Besides importing your own custom models, you can also import chameleon models. For example, you have like an old model from your previous project that used with chameleon mod, or you had you have here models from Macaulay's Puppet Models channel. For example, here is I have a pizza model. 
so I download it. Then I open it. And here I open the models, and then I can just simply copy and paste this folder. Or I want to show you a cool feature. You can organize your models by extra categories. So basically, if I create here a new folder called, for example, Deco, it could be absolutely anything. And then you drag the folder with the model. Then you'll have here a new category. Looks like something messed up. But by reloading models, I managed to fix this issue. But yes, if you have a folder within models folder, it will act as its own category instead of basically placing models into the general models category. So yeah, and that's how this model looks like and it seems to be fully working. So yeah, community models work too. And finally, this mod also supports magical box and models. For example, here I have a character knight. So all you have to do is basically the same thing. I open the models folder, then I go and find this folder. This was character knight. I create a new folder for the model. You can name it whatever you want. And simply paste the model. And then you'll see the magical voxel model here. Keep in mind that the more voxel this model has, the more lag there will be. Unfortunately, the models are rendered on CPU, because in Minecraft, in new versions, there is no way to simply cache a model and like... So basically, the performance really matters with the amount of voxels you have. Okay, so keep that in mind. So yeah, that's about it and the model formats that BBS mod supports. See you in the next episode.